Hey everyone. So the flat method creates a new array with all sub array elements concatenated into it recursively up to a specified depth. Let's understand this with an example. So let's say we have an array uh, with uh, multiple arrays in it as an element. And if we use array dot flat method on it, it will return us a single dimensional array with all the elements that were inside the ARR array. So today we are going to write a polyfill for it. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the code. So we are calling our polyfill method as my flat. One thing we know about the array dot flat method is that it is accessible by all arrays. Similarly, our my flat method should also be accessible by all arrays in JavaScript. To do that, we have to add our uh, my flat method to the prototype of array like this. Next thing is how can we access this input array uh, inside our my flat method because uh, we are not passing it as a parameter. So the solution to that is using the this keyword. So if I just write console.log this inside the my inside our my flat method save it and go to the console we can see we get the uh, we get our input array so inside this my flat method this points to our input array so using the this keyword we can access the array on which my flat function was being called so now comes the logic building part of our my flat method so the logic will be something like we will look through the array and if it is a normal integer value, we'll just add it to our output array. But if we encounter an another array, we'll call our uh, recursive function again. So that uh, this another nested array will be flattened and returned to us in the output array. Uh, we'll, uh, you'll understand once we write the code for it. So first, we'll just create a closure variable called const output. It will be our output array. So next we'll create another function called get flatten data and it will take an array as a parameter. And uh, what we'll do, we'll loop through this array using a for loop. So we'll have a for loop from i equals to zero to i is less than ar dot length and i plus plus then we'll get the current element for it. So let's say if I store the current element in a variable called cu double r and that will be array at i. Now we'll check if it is a normal integer or if it is a array or if it isn't uh, or if it isn't type array element. So if array dot is array sir so if this current element is an array what we'll do we'll again call our get flatten data method on this particular array that is our current element else if it is not an array we'll just push the number in our output array then after uh, getting out of this particular function what we'll do we'll call this get flatten data method and we'll pass this to it remember this here this points to this input array that we are calling uh, my flat data upon next we'll uh, just return the output array that we get so if i save this and go to the console you'll see we are getting the single dimensional flattened array as an output similarly which we are getting uh, in case of array dot flat now let's see how we get the output that we saw in the console so when we first call input dot my flat method my flat method will be called and inside the my flat method we are calling the get flattened data method which we created and uh, for the first time this arr it will be equals to our whole array and our output which we declared above will be an empty array 
so we we'll loop through this arr array so first the current element will have one so one is not an array so out it will be uh, added to the output array so one will be added here next arr at index one so element two will come uh, inside current element so it is also not an array so it will be added to the output array next inside the current element it will be three comma four so it is another array so this if condition will execute and our get flattened data method again will be called but this time arr will be arr will, uh, will be 3 comma 4 so again this loop will run and ar dot length it's 2 so first the zero index element will be we get 3 so again 3 is not an array it will be added to the output now this output is a closure here so it is still pointing to our out to the output array that uh, we were referencing we, uh, previously so the three variable will be added to this output array next four will come it is also not an array so it will be added inside our output array next we'll get uh, this five comma six as another array so first uh, it is an array so we'll again call the get flattened data and this time arr will point to five point to an array containing five and another sub array in it as a, with a single variable six now we'll loop through this array and current element will be five so five is not an array so it will be appended to our output array so it will point out to same closure variable that we declared above so it will be added here next we'll get a six as a sub array so it is another array then again our get flattened data method will be called this time arr will be six a single element now uh, when we loop through this array the current element will contain six it is not an array and uh, uh, it will be push to our output array like this now the our arr will be empty and we have looped through all the elements uh, inside the input array which we pass to the my flat method and this output array 1 2 3 4 5 6 will be returned as an output which we see in the console so this is how we wrote the polyfill for my flat method there's another method to do it we'll check it now so another way to achieve the same thing is is to use the reduce method instead of the for loop so instead of using the for loop to loop through the array what we can do we can call the reduce method on uh, our error method it will take two things the accumulator and the current value and uh, as a initial value we'll provide it an empty array now uh, we'll store the result in a variable called new arr so inside this reduce method what we'll do we'll again check the same thing if this current element is an array using the array dot is array method what we'll do we'll again call the uh, fl uh, get flatten uh, data method and uh, we'll concat the result inside the accumulator and we'll store the data uh, data again inside our accumulator so what we are doing we are, we are checking if it is the current element is an array we are uh, again calling the get flattened data method and uh, we are concatting the flattened result to our accumulator else we are just will just append or add the current element to our accumulator so we'll just do accumulator equals to accumulator comma current element next we'll just return the accumulator and uh, and instead of uh, returning the output array we don't need the output array now we'll just uh, return the new array that will get from the get flattened data method so in the get flattened data method we will return this 
new array so we'll return new arr so if i save it and go to the console again we are seeing the same result so this is another way how we can implement the polyfill for flat method using the reduce method so this was it uh, thank you for watching